Now what's going on, bro? What's your name? Yvonne. 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 You know your nationality, Yvonne? Black Puerto Rican. You black and Puerto Rican. What's your father? Your black is father. Your black is your father is black. Come here. I'm locked out of way. Hey, look at this sign. You see something in this line? I'm going to go. So June ain't like the Watch this. Because America taught America us that we can be mixed. Right? That's what, that's what America said. Watch what the Bible says. Because God is the creator of all things. Right. So if you want the knowledge, the true knowledge, then you're going to go to the, the, the main source. Which is worth the Bible. That's then we're gonna go to the main source to show you exactly who you are. That's what right. Read. The book of Numbers, chapter one, verse eighteen. Up. And they assembled all the congregations together on the first day of the second month, uh -huh. and they declared their pedigrees. And they, the they is the Israelites. It says they declared their pedigrees, meaning their bloodline or their lineage by who? After their families, uh -huh. by the house of their father. Nope, their mother. They why do you think it says they determined by the house of the father what your nationality was? Okay. 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 That's where the word comes from. The, the, the bloodline comes from who? The man, because he carries the seed. Right. So that's why it says who your father is, that's who you are. Because your, fa your father is what nationality? He's black. So you will be considered so called black, but from the tribe of Judah. Nation of Israel. No, no, I got the Bible on my phone. You understand? You can't be Judah and Israel. You have to only be one. You come from the line of your father, not your mother. So you would be what your father is, which would be from the tribe of Judah. Now, do you know who else comes from the tribe of Judah? Solomon. She said there was a woman. Pull it out. Give me, give me, give me, give me Hebrews. I know. Hebrews seven fourteen. Now, let me ask you this: What does Christ look like? You got to prove all things. I know it don't say Solomon. Right there. No, you said How do you put money up, son? If you show me how much money, this is the whole problem that we have in our community. Because we have been taught lies. We have been taught that Jesus Christ is white. Don't say Solomon says black. You Now we showed you in the Bible that you come from the tribe of Judah. Right? Watch who else comes from the tribe of Judah. Read. The book of Hebrews, chapter 7, verse 14. But it is evident, meaning it's a well known fact. We have proof that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Who came out of Judah? Our Lord sprang out of Judah. Who is our Lord? It's all good. Remain. It's all good. It says, Our Lord sprang out of Judah. Who is our Lord? Who is the Lord? Make it clear. Christ. He says, our Lord sprang out of Judah. So if you come from the line of Judah, and Jesus Christ comes from the line of Judah, Break it plan. what you think he look like? Give me Revelation. Give me Revelation. Then we're going to prove it. We're going to prove it that he's black. We're going to prove it now. Absolutely. Because if they told you this was Christ, what else have they lied to you about? Everything. That's if they right. tell you that your savior was a white man, they now will tell you they what? They love you when uh -huh. they don't. Uh -huh. You understand? They now tell you, uh, love thy, love thy enemy, love thy, uh, what do you say? Love thy neighbors. Love thy neighbors that love thyself. Hell, if they love us, why they do this to us? Bring it out, huh? Bring it out. Why is this, why is this? Right? What? It is still going on today. That's right. Right. If they love us, if they love their neighbor, if they love themselves, why did they put us in slavery? Why did they steal everything from us? Uh -huh. Make it they still stealing from us today. That's right. They going over to Africa stealing our gold and everything. That's right. Libya and everything, stealing. But then they say, love your neighbor as you love yourself. That's right. If you really love me, you would give back everything you stole. But you know what? God going to make them do it. They ain't gonna do it just like Pharaoh didn't want to do it. They ain't gonna do it just like they don't want to let us go. Just like Pharaoh didn't want to let us go. But God said when he come back, he gonna come get us and he gonna put all of them in chains. Watch this. Read. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. Listen up. Listen up, brothers and sisters, you so-called blessed Spanish and Native Americans. What we're about to read, we're about to read the true description of what Jesus Christ looked like in the holy 
Bible. That's right. Not what I said, but what God said. Come on. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The root word of revelation is revealed. Right. This is John, uh, the revelator on the island of Patmos. Read on. First sin. Uh -huh. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. The Lord's day is the Sabbath day, which was yesterday. Right. Read on. And heard behind me a great voice uh -huh. as of a trumpet saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. Uh -huh. What thou seest. And what thou what? What thou seest. Uh -huh. Great in a book. So Christ told John the Revelator, what you see, write in the book. Right. Guess what that book is? The Bible. Right. Right. So these Christian church say, ain't nobody ever seen Christ. John the Revelator did. Right. If you nailed him to the cross, people saw him. That's right. Would you hang up a ghost? Right. Come on now. He died a black man's death at that. That's right. That's how else you know he's a black man. He got hung up and killed in front of his mom. Right. Who else you seen get front and killed in front of their mom? Or was calling for his mom. Right. When they knee on his neck. Make it right. George Floyd. That's right. He was he got killed calling for his mom. Right. Christ got killed in front of his mom. Right. You see the correlation now? You waking up now? Wake up. The eyes are coming off now? Right. It's time to wake up, brother. That's right. right. We are the Israelites. That's right. God's chosen people. Right. Come on. Verse 12. And I turn to see the voice that spoke with me. It's even getting even more detail. John the Revelator said he turned to see the Lord, the, the voice that spake with him. So he saw Christ with his eyes. Right. Read. Yeah. First 14. Oh, verse 14. His head and his hair were white like wool. So it says his head and his hair were white like wool. Do he have woolly hair? Is that woolly hair? Or is that strangy hair like a dog that he is? That strangy hair. Woolly text for her is her that looks like a sheep. Uh-huh. Yeah, let's look at this bitch. That's woolly text for her, ain't it? That's right. People what about that when you remove your hat? Let me see what your hair look like. They won't stop them from saying they gonna stop. Woolly texture hair. That's right. You are looking at right here in front of you. We are in the image of Jesus Christ. That's right. Black. Green. And his head, his head, and his head were white like wool. As white as snow. Let me stop right there. It says his hair was. White and wood. Yeah, I want to deal with the sisters of 12 men. Because a lot of our sisters like to go and get weeds and perms and get these blind and stuff in their head. But God said Christ got her like wool. That's beautiful, sisters. You don't have to alter that thing to look like your oppressors no more. You are beautiful in the image that God made you. You don't have to change nothing but your mind. That's all you got to change is your mind. And that's called repentance. That's right. Come on. Bend up uh, Leviticus chapter 13 verse 30. Uh -huh. Then the priest shall see the plague uh -huh. and behold, and the be in the sight deeper than the skin. So it says, if they see a plague, right? Let's see what this plague is though. So if a plague is, is, is not a good thing, right? A plague is a bad thing. Let's let's see what this plague is. Read. And there be in it a yellow thin hair. A what? A yellow thin hair. What is the, another word for yellow? Blonde. That's right. Blonde. I was just love to get this blonde in their head. But the Lord says if you see a plague, then you should pronounce them unclean if they have blonde hair in their head. That's an unclean thing. But these people, these so-called white people, because ain't nobody walking around here white. You've never seen nobody look this covered before, ever. This is considered white. This is considered red. This is red. His name is Esau in the Bible. You've never seen a white man before. You've seen the devil, though. That's what you have seen. Go back to Revelation. Somebody can finish it up. Yep, give me this. This is what, this is who you see. These people, these so-called white people right here, they're bride from this man called Esau. Right. That's their nationality. They come from the tribe, I mean, from the nation of Edom. The Edomites. It's, he's called Red. They're not white people. That's what they told us. Right. Because white, 
everything is right with white. White is a pure color. They ain't pure at all. Am I right? But then they give us the good name of black. Black, everything is bad when it comes to black. But according to the Bible, let's see what, what uh, King Solomon said about being black. Hold that. Give me uh, uh, Psalm, Psalm 25. Hey, how y'all doing in this red car right here? Let me speak to y'all. Hey, read what you got off. Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. Hey, get up. I am black. What did King Solomon say? I am black. Come on. But calmly. He says, I'm black and I'm beautiful. This is King Solomon. He says, I'm black and I'm beautiful. But then in the Mormon church, they say, oh, your black skin is a curse. But King Solomon, which was the wisest king that ever walked this earth, that's right. He says he's black and he's beautiful. That's right. How can that be a curse when the, the wisest man on the earth say he's black and beautiful? Right. Jesus Christ is black and beautiful. That's God right. is black and beautiful. That's right. Therefore, black and Hispanic men, you are black and beautiful. That's right. Come on, give me go. Go back to Revelation now. Let's get the, let's finish this image off. No, no, Revelation. Okay. Yes, sir. Revelation one. Right. Revelation. Brothers and sisters, I know you can hear the sound of this voice. It's, time, it's high time we wake up out of sleep. We are the Israelites. That's right. Come on. Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. Uh -huh. His head and his hair were white like wool. Christ got woolly textured hair. This is how you know it's woolly textured and it ain't talking about the color. Watch this. Read. That's white as snow. Now you know it's white. The hair texture is wool. The color is white. Christ had woolly hair and it was fully white as snow. My man, my brother right here, his hair is starting to get white now. Read on. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Christ's eyes were red because he drank wine in moderation. They call Christ a wine bibber in the goodness. But Christ was none of those things. Just like they call us niggas. That's we are right. none of those things. Right. We are God's chosen people. Right. Right. They call us Hispanic or his, uh, wetbacks or spits. Right. We are none of those things. Right. We are the Israelites, God's chosen people. Right. Right. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.